As an OSINT investigator, one of the most crucial skills that you can have is the ability to track and gather real-time information about live events like protests, political rallies, natural disasters, etc. Thanks to smartphones and social media, almost every single moment is being captured and posted by people. So the internet is becoming a gold mine of raw unfiltered information that contains posts, photos, videos, live streams, and much more. So in this video, I would like to show you how can you take advantage of social media to monitor events, track news, verify footage, or build a situational awareness. So without being said, let's get started. All right, so the first platform that we are going to cover to track and monitor events is going to be X. So let's say that we are searching for a demonstration in a specific place. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to type demonstration like this, and then I'm going to add a geocode, which is the area that I want to search in. So you need to add the latitude and latitude. And to get this, all you have to do is just to go to Google Maps, for example, and then I'm going to right mouse, click Hamburg, and then click on the coordinates. And then I'm going to paste like this. And afterwards, I'm going to add a comma and add the radius of the place that I want to search in. So for example, I can say five kilometers or 10 kilometers. So let's say 10 kilometers. And then I can hit enter, for example, and then click on latest to see the latest news about any demonstration that happened or from Hamburg, let's say. So if I clicked on this person, for example, we can see that this person is from Hamburg and he made a post that has mentioned the word demonstration. I can also scroll down a little bit more, for example, right here and click on this. And we can also see that this person is also saying that he's from Hamburg. Now, obviously they can type whatever they want, but sometimes they are going to add the accurate location. So let's come back. What we can also do is see all videos that are posted that has the word demonstration in the tweet. So what I'm going to do is just type filter to filter the search result and then type native underscore video and then hit enter. And this will show me only videos that have the word demonstration from people that live or from Hamburg. And we can see here that we have one person. Now let's go to Facebook and Facebook is very straightforward. So we can say, for example, demonstration like this. And then I can go to posts and afterwards I can select the post. For example, it could be public posts and the location that is tagged could be, for example, Hamburg to see whether anything has happened. And here we can see a demonstration that happened a day ago and we can also see some photos that are posted from this person now the coolest thing about this is that you will get photos or footage from different people which will allow you to verify footage or find more information about the place or the people that are in this demonstration so here we, for example we can see a video we can scroll down and see that this is from 30 march and this one is from 2022, we can always select like the year. So we can say only show me the word demonstration that has been posted in 2025, as you can see here. Searching in TikTok is a little bit different and it's much simpler than using Facebook or Twitter. So let's say that we are searching for a demonstration. I can type demonstration and these are all keywords that we are searching for. And then I can type Hamburg and then I can hit enter, for example, and then go to videos. And now I'll see all the videos. So we can see that there are multiple videos and some of them are from 2025. And here, here is one from 2023. Now, what you can do is, for example, add a hashtag that could be 2025 and then search for the word or the number 2025. And this will sometime filter your search result and will only show you like recent events that happened in this place. For example, here we can see that this is an event that happened a week ago in Hamburg. And this is another one. And this is another one. And 
we can already see that these videos are very recent and not from the year 2024. So specifying the year and the event type or anything that is related to the event is very important. So if I open, for example, let's say this video, I'm going to check the keywords and we can see that it has the hashtag Hamburg and it has the number 2025 but it does not have the full word demonstration. It only has the word demo. So TikTok is very good at detecting and identifying what you are to using, like what words or keywords you are using and will help you to find the videos that you are searching for. Now, there are many other techniques that you can use to monitor events or track news, but we are going to leave this to another video. So that's it for this video. I hope you learned something new. If you liked the video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel because this will help me grow the channel and make more awesome content. So with that being said, I'll see you soon.